सतु सुखिना सर्वे संतु निरामय सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुःखभार भवे Wow, it's 25 years of Bapio. It's amazing how time has flown since the very humble beginning of Bapio 25 years ago. I think we have come a long way. I feel so happy and I am so proud of our team, people who have been working with us all the time and bringing Bapio to such heights making it one of the one of the most unusual but important and influential doctors organization in the world really but you know we started with very humble beginning it started at my house with very few people and we were wondering how we can assist at that time in 96 international medical graduates who were coming and were landing in london but we're not finding jobs and we're having a lot of difficulties. Since then, we have moved on for equality, fairness and justice for all international medical graduates, but also for ethnic minority doctors. I'm sure that when Ramesh and his colleagues planted the seed for Bapio all those 25 years ago, and you will be aware that this is our 25th uh, uh, or silver anniversary of the foundation of Bapio, I'm sure that they, they didn't actually think that this would become a mature tree that has blossomed into flowers and is bearing fruit. And I think that um, what my vision would be for Bapio would be that all our arm's length bodies, the uh, British Indian Nurses Association, Bapio Training Academy, uh, the um, Bapio Institute for Health Research uh, and Medical Defense Shield, all of them would flourish our faculties or our fora, of which there are several, the Young Doctors Forum, Leadership Forum, uh, and also the SAS Forum, that they all make inroads into, uh, into mainstream, uh, in mainstream NHS. The difficulties that we had with HSMP visa, we lobbied the government first. Since it did not work, we staged a protest march in front of number 10, where 700 of our doctors took part. Despite that, things did not work and hence we had no choice other than to take the government to the court. And we went up to the Supreme Court, then it was called the House of Lords and we won. It saved the careers of 15,000 doctors. Many of them are now consultants working in their niches. I'm delighted that while we are celebrating the Silver Jubilee at BAPIO, women have come a long way and women leadership and equality has come a long way in BAPIO. Women's Forum has been established through which national conferences were organized we had role models come in and speak about their stories, their journeys, the sacrifices, the pathways they've taken. And this is all extremely uh, inspiring for young women doctors who want to take similar re leadership roles and do the best in their careers. Networking pathways have been established within the conferences. The important concepts of sponsorship, lift as you go, the awareness towards this has brought in. And I must also say that BAPIO has been very active nationally in terms of promoting issues relating to ethnic women. For example, in terms of supporting the commission which was dealing with pay disparity, gender pay disparity, and also ethnic racial equality issues have all been supported to, informed through BAPIO. When we did the Bridging the Gap project, one of the things we found was there's a lot of differential attainment in leadership roles. 
and the one thing that they brought up as a part of the problem was the fact that they didn't have access to leadership development. So we developed what was called LEAP, which was Leading Through Education to Excellent Patient Care, which was a leadership program that is cross-disciplinary, multi-professional, which aims to actually promote leadership development and collaborative working across the healthcare system. And the idea is that, you know, you provide this uh, into individuals and give them that opportunity to develop as leaders. This is what the back your faculty of leadership is going to do. So I'm really excited about its launch. In 2021, Papio reaches its 25th year. And in this time, in the last 12 to 24 months, the world has changed completely for us. We are extremely proud of the fact that Papio has developed its own Institute for Health Research, which was born in the middle of a pandemic. And the founding uh, principles were our uh, pride and our aspiration for achieve, achieving equality for everyone. And I think that, was the, that has been the mission for BAPIO all through its 25 years. And the pandemic and the need for, for equality um, it gave us the opportunity to develop our own research uh, institute. In the last 12 months, we have worked extremely hard and we have um, worked with multiple organizations and developed um, a huge amount of research looking at workforce, looking at well-being, looking at, uh, at people who are uh, you know, here from other countries around the world and for populations here who have been really suffering because of um, um, many challenges that they have had. And during this time, we also are very proud of the fact that um, BAPIO journals have really taken on a global digital presence. Uh, the journals were developed back in 2007 for Harmony, uh, 2012 for Sushruta um, and, um, and the physician at, at around the same time. Yet um, in this last two years, our readership has gone from around 5,000 to 20,000. Um, our reach has reached um, really across the globe and we have uh, contributors from um, Australia, from Russia, uh, and, and many parts of India and England. And through this, uh, BAPIO has uh, given voice to a lot of people with incredible talent who up till now did not have the chance to have their voice heard. And we are really proud uh, in its 25th year that uh, BAPIO has achieved so much. I'm particularly proud of BAPIO's Bridging the Gap project, which has brought together 12 months of hard work of 150 people and 50 organizations. This sort of work has never been done before, and this was done under the Alliance for Equality of the Medical Profession, and this is where BAPIO's mission for achieving equality for all um, has been brought to a culmination and we will be announcing our report shortly. Health and well-being is so important. You know, it, the BAPIO has really, really taken this uh, to a next level. We have got wonderful services to maintain the good health, energy and the positive energy that we have and our members have. It's not only they're just the members, it's extended to their families and friends so that everyone works and there's a sense of purpose and the community. This is something really we need to celebrate. In addition to this, what we are enjoying is a regular yoga sessions. They are done on a weekly basis and absolutely the members look forward to attend to those sessions. And we have a dance fitness sessions, which keeps us really fit, energetic, and have built a really good friendship and the network. And this is extended not just to the BAPU members, it's also welcome to everybody else. On the top of this, we do have a network and the relationship building with the other organizations in the form of a fun where we have a cricket team. And they have done excellent and won trophies, at the same time build such vast network amongst other organizations. Not only this, we do have additional support services called IPR project. 
this one has been benefited by so many young doctors, nurses and the doctors who were hit really hard during pandemic, not only in UK but in India as well. This peer support has brought in such an helpful resources to those doctors and the nurses as well. All in all, Papio's agenda on the health and well-being is a holistic approach looks at the physical, psychological, emotional and social well-being. This is very important in this profession to bring a good quality care and outcome for patient care in the NHS. And we are really proud to say how top is the agenda of health and well-being in Bapio and this will be continuing forever. It's 25 years of Bapio silver jubilee celebrations and we are so so proud of this organization i am particularly proud not only of bapio but of bapio training academy and what it has achieved in the last year or last couple of years one of the pillars of bapio was to promote clinical and professional excellence and bapio training academy finally is fulfilling that purpose is fulfilling the dream set out by dr ramesh mehta founder of bapio and we all should be proud about what we are trying to do with India, the rest of the world, making BAPU a global organization, BAPU Training Academy a global brand. Our training will not only benefit the trainees in India and UK, but also will benefit the countries where the trainees are being trained, India, United Kingdom, and will provide a platform where the world gets the benefit of these quality doctors being created through these programs serving the mankind. This is indeed a win-win for all and we all should be so proud of it. This is the only organization which has managed to do this, bringing so many stakeholders together, universities in India, universities in UK and of course the government. And I think this is a tremendous achievement and I'm very proud of it. The support offered to international doctors by traditional defence organisations has been very fragmented and unsatisfactory. So we set up Medical Defence Shield and in the last 10 years we've helped thousands of doctors in cases against the GMC and against their employers and we've helped save many, many careers. MDS which offers both trade union and defence organisation covers in one uh, subscription is an amazing product which has helped and continues to help doctors in this country and we hope that we will continue to grow with time. Our membership includes senior consultants and many many junior doctors and we have free membership for medical students as well so we are catering to all groups of society. British Indian Nurses Association was formed last year in the middle of the pandemic to provide the much needed support for Indian origin nurses. When any nurse is coming from India, they need a quality pastoral support to settle in their job. Furthermore, they need good support to progress further in their professional career. Bina provides quality pastoral support as well as further professional support for nurses of Indian origin in this country. Forming Bina is, the, is one of the proudest moments in the history of Papio because together along with the medical workforce, we will be having a massive influence in the UK healthcare system for the benefit of our staff and for our patients. These talented people, we need to use their talent for the best patient care. And unless we support them, unless we encourage them, unless we use their clinical and professional excellence, we will not be able to use their talent and that has been the objective and I'm so pleased that we have done very well over the last 24, five years. All this hard work when we started wasn't possible because there was no workforce available to us. We just few friends together and without support and the solid support that I had from my wife Ritu, this was impossible. It's amazing, can't believe Bapio has completed 25 years since we started. It's, it has been a pleasant journey, amazing journey, and I thoroughly enjoyed supporting Bapio, especially the charity 
which Bapio does. I can recollect the earthquake in Kutch, the floods in South India, and recently the COVID crisis in India. We collected lots of funds and helped them. And I'm sure we would continue doing it as long as maybe more 25 years. We were brought up to be compassionate and kind, and these are qualities that resonate through all the work that Bapio does. Integrity, honesty, and really being proud of who you are and being who you are. As a doctor now myself, these are qualities that I continue to uphold in my clinical practice. So when I started medical school, I didn't have any other family doing medicine, but it wasn't until I was introduced to Bapio and people like Ramesh Uncle and Ankur that I found people that were willing to mentor me and support me, like my own family, and give me the opportunities to teach me what I needed to do to get ahead of my career. Whether that was publication opportunities, or presenting, or teaching, or even the highlight for me, which was being able to be sponsored to go to India to present at a research conference there and attend a hospital attachment. I feel this really kick-started my career, and I'm so proud of being able to um, pass these opportunities on to younger medical students now. Bapio has given us an amazing opportunity to mentor young junior doctors and medical students, one of which was a fantastic opportunity where we created an international conference where hundreds of students and junior doctors from across Europe came to our National Merit Conference to learn new skills and present their work and all of their research that they've been doing during this time. I first learned about Bapio as a second year medical student. And at the time, I wasn't sure what Bapio could offer me, but I'm so glad I took that first step and became a Bapio member. Firstly, leadership. There's so many inspiring people within Bapio, and they're so eager to help. Research. There's so many projects that you can become involved with, with within Bapio. So many consultants and professors so eager to take on medical students and junior doctors. Medical education. This is always to hand, be that as a medical student or as a junior doctor. Now Bapio is a family, made up of medical students right through to consultants. Everyone is always happy to help and will take you with open arms. Bapio is a really inspiring organisation to be a part of as a medical student. It's allowed me the opportunity to network with multiple different students from across the UK, as well as meeting consultants in many different specialties. As well as this, I've had chances to perform research, um, have things published, um, I've experienced many different medical lectures which have been inspiring and as well as that they provide opportunities to have a sponsorship to go abroad which is great as well. Going forward and for the future, I see women undertaking very important roles within BAPIO at the top table at all levels and in terms of equality and diversity. We plan to continue to help support and professionally encourage doctors of all walks of life. So looking to the future, I'm keen to show other people the support and the warmth and the family feeling that Bapier has provided with me. I want other people to know about that so they can experience the same opportunities that I've received. So I'd encourage all the young junior doctors and medical students to come and get involved in the Young Doctors Forum at Bapio and take advantage of all the opportunities that we have, including the National Merit Conference and all the lovely socials that we have, to get together and take advantage of the opportunities and support that we have to offer. The future of Bapio is, in my opinion, is very simple. Bapio has to be a major stakeholder in policy making as far as Department of Health is concerned. That's where BAPIO needs to sit. That is a natural, deserving place for BAPIO. We need to carry on. A lot more needs to be done. And we will carry on doing the good things, supporting the National Health Service, supporting the patient care, supporting the doctors and nurses towards clinical and professional excellence. We BAPIO! We BAPIO!